dear friends today i'll be creating my 22nd uh, c program uh, for the decisional loop so <coughs> the 22nd program would be uh, i will be in the last program i have created the armstrong number <coughs> today what i'll be doing is i'll be um, creating a program to find the total number of armstrong number and display them between a particular interval suppose if i ask you to print armstrong number between a series like between 1 to 1000 how many armstrong number are there so in that case you need to print out those kind of numbers okay so the uh, for knowing the armstrong logic you need to just refer the 20th program of to or the 21st program of the series okay so without wasting further time let's start just add a new empty file to the project has to be saved first you can see already 21st programs are created just go here and make it as 22nd okay now give the title of the program c program to display armstrong number between two intervals the author for this program would be okay so it's just a simple logic just include the header file first std align sorry stdio.h define the main body of the function okay now take the two integers basically n1 and n2 okay and take an out counter i and take a temporary variable that might be useful to you and take a number this num just like the previous program it this num would be used and a remainder to calculate or uh, to reiterate the values just print if the message to the user enter any two positive integer okay so scan f percentile d space percentile d comma and n percent n1 n percent n2 okay now print f um, strong number between percentile d and percentile d are this is n1 n2 basically what is the thing is here we will be assuming that the user will be entering the smaller value first and then the larger value suppose in case the user enters the larger value first and then the smaller value the program won't run in that case the solution is simply you just place a uh, program to swap the two numbers okay so just go through there my earlier videos in the um, series where you can find the c program to print uh, or to swap two values okay so just use that and uh, now let's initiate just give a for loop for i equals to n1 plus 1 the series has to be started from the first number including 1 and i less than or equal to n2 and then plus plus i so the values are pre-incremented just temp equals to i and num temp equals to i and number equals to 0 you might be following up in case uh, you have followed my earlier video for this that we are defining a temporary and taking the value of i inside the temporary variable and defining the remainder as 0 that is the num ok while temp not equals to 0 just define the logic as 
remainder equal to ten percent ten. Okay, and num equals to num plus remainder remainder into remainder. Okay, and then place temp equal to temp divided by ten. Okay, now just this is the same logic. If the i is double equals to num, okay, the counter. The counter for i, the counter is double equals to num. Just print a function to the user as percentile t comma i. Hmm. Now return zero, and that closes our. That should not be placed here. I guess it will be placed here. Yes, so what we will be doing, the whole logic is just similar to the last program we did. Here, what uh, the extra part what we did is we just placed the for loop and executed or reiterated the value um, for the required number of terms. Okay, so let me try to save this program and again build and run this program. Okay, so this is the wrong one. That's good. Let me try to again run this. Oh, correct. Enter two positive integer. It is hundred, and the other one is unit ten, hundred thousand, ten thousand. The Armstrong number between the series are one fifty three, three seventy. I know indenting is not very good. Let me try to indent this program for you all. Backslash t. Here, control s. Now again run this program. Unit ten hundred. And then ten hundred thousand and then see one fifty three three seventy three seventy one four hundred seven. Okay, so these are the series. The execution time for the program is six seconds. So basically, this was the programming logic. Whenever uh, there be there is an interval, we need to define the interval like this only. For and we will be taking the counter and just starting it off with the next value from the starting value of the interval so this was the logic uh, i guess so it might be helping you all in case you find any problem or anything uh, just please post it in the comment section and i hope i'll be able to resolve your issues or any problem with that in case uh, this video has helped you up please don't forget to just uh, like the video and share and subscribe with your fellow members okay so that was all for the day and thank you, bye bye, have a nice day.